Hey, good morning, everyone. I hope you all are doing well out there. I just wanted to quickly give an update on the fraud situation that happened over the weekend. I did a video the other day, basically talking about how I hated debit cards and how it's the worst product out there and how I disagree with Dave Ramsey that a debit card is better than a credit card. Quick update, I'm just now leaving the credit union. I spoke with a banker and they actually showed me where all of the fraudulent charges, they actually started like in at the beginning of September. So I have, I'm looking at a list of approximately, I would say almost, I mean, it's, it's about probably 125 attempts at utilizing the debit card. Only a few went through, but you know, I, I can go over some of them. You had some charges for Etsy, you had Tidal, Amazon Prime, had some stuff for OnlyFans.com, you had whatever Good Monkey is. I don't know what, that, oh, it says Electronic Commerce, you know, all kind of crazy stuff. Now, they said that this is a debit card that was open in May. And I honestly can't remember. It was in my name, not my wife's name. I can't remember ever having access to this debit card, which is the weird thing about it, which could be what happened because you have some of these charges where it says merchant, it shows like Etsy.com. And then you have some charges under merchant. Most of them actually say Stripe. And if I have a charge that says Stripe on it, just from the teller's explanation, as I thought that was actually where they tried to, to swipe the card and not something they tried to do online. So I see a lot of those in St. Louis. Yeah, as I look at all, the, all of the stripes, they all appear to be in St. Louis. They all appear to be in St. Louis, which means somehow my car must have made it to St. Louis. I don't know interesting i don't know a lot of people from st louis but i do know some people from st louis but i don't know if i somehow dropped my card somewhere and somebody in st louis end up getting it but i haven't had access to that car in a long time you know all of the other charges basically look to be internet charges you know you got apple you got some charges that show up as zero you got some charges that show up as twenty five hundred dollars but i'm just surprised that i'm just now getting a notification of it i guess because if i'm not mistaken i think that it originally started in i don't know actually i think it just started on 22nd so i, I don't know it's, it's kind of confusing i need to go through everything but the bottom line is that we figured everything out all of those debit cards are closed i asked the guy if i can order atm cards for the two checking accounts that we primarily use and he basically told me we can't since it's attached to checking accounts we could order atm cards if they were only savings accounts so i'm gonna obviously speak with my wife about a good process a good plan on how to utilize these debit cards i know that we shop at costco frequently and they only either accept a visa credit card or they accept any debit card so you know we do have visa with fidelity Visa credit card, so we can use the credit card and get the 2% cash back at Costco, or we can use our debit cards there and obviously, you know, go from there. But I hate using debit cards, we need to minimize our debit card use. But it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like somebody hacked into an account or anything. I, if it's my understanding, I think somebody actually got my card physically and utilized it, and they're sitting right there in St. Louis. So, wow, very interesting stuff. Got to be careful out here. Obviously, I wasn't careful, careful enough, but, you know, shout out to, to my credit union for catching this. It looked like most of the charges actually, I think it actually really did start on the 22nd, which was not that long ago. And I got notification on the 23rd and they were basically 
trying to charge everything up, but everything was getting declined and only a few minimal charges went through. So those should be refunded in a heartbeat, but I appreciate you guys. Be careful out there. All right. Y'all take care.